Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, it's the end of my four-day week and now I can honestly say I know what a four-day, 12-hour work week feels like. Uh, it was a long one, but I'm um, glad I'm over it now and now I got four days off to just kind of do my own thing. Looking forward to that. Now, today was actually a pretty good day production-wise. The machine ran really well all day and... Uh, we got a lot of work done today, so it was a very productive day. And normally it would have been just a very boring day, except everything went kind of haywire, like in the last 30 minutes. Now, to understand how it all went weird, uh, you kind of have to understand a little bit more about the job. As you know, it's a 12-hour job. Now, in reality, it's like a 12 and a half hour job because you come in at seven in the morning in my case, and you stay until 7.30 at night. And the reason you have that extra half hour is because the night shift also works seven to 7.30. There's 7 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. And the reason there's that little overlap is because each shift starts off with a shift meeting. And during that shift meeting, they kind of decide you know, how based on what the production demands are for that day, how, how each person is going to be assigned to any of the multiple lines. Generally, you have two people on a line and like I said, production goes up and down. You know, some lines are running, some aren't. And so they decide on a day by day basis which line people are going to work on. Well, when I, so usually what ends up happening is the next shift comes in about seven. Uh, they have a little 10 minute meeting and usually the personnel will come to the line about 7.15 and relieve us. And at that point, then, then we're free to go. We go back to our lockers, get into our street clothes and can check out at 7.30. Well, 7.15 came and went, nobody showed up. Uh, and, you know, so we just said, okay, well, we can't walk away from the line because you can't leave a machine operating with no personnel because there's just too many moving parts and too many things that can go wrong. So we just continued uh, operating the machine, uh, you know, figuring, okay, some day, at some point somebody's going to come and show up and, and relieve us. Well, like I said, 7.15 came and went, nobody showed up. Finally, about 7.30, we're still working, and uh, one of the senior employees that's working on the next line happens to notice that we haven't been relieved. So she comes and says, you know, hasn't your uh, relief come in yet? And we say, no, no, haven't heard anything yet. So she goes to try and figure out what's going on. And it turns out that there isn't enough personnel to run all of the lines. And so they've elected to shut our line down for the night. Now, these machines are complicated. You don't just turn them on, turn them off. It's a very elaborate procedure to shut them down. And it's an even more elaborate procedure to start them back up again. And so, you know, because what you have is you have to start at the beginning of the process. You have to tell the beginning of the process to stop. And then you have to purge all the product through the entire machine before you can stop. And there's a couple of processes that have to happen after it leaves the machine. And there's paperwork and there's QA and all that stuff that needs to be done. Uh, so we ended up, you know, we got, got the order to shut the machine off. We stopped it. We purged all the product through the machine, uh, gathered up, you know, all the waste, you know, accounted for that, did all the paperwork necessary to shut down the machine and just got to the point where everything was off and we were just finalizing the paperwork. We had like five more minutes to go and then we were out of there. Well, all of a sudden, two people show up. Somebody apparently changed their mind and says, okay, yeah, maybe we should keep this machine going. So all of a sudden, two people show up and we've just finished shutting the machine down. So, yeah, you know, gotta feel sorry for this next shift because these machines, like I said, they're very complicated. And once you get them going, you kind of want to just keep them going because as long as they're running, you know, it just, everything runs smoothly and it's just a matter of maintaining things and keeping up with it. But the second you start, you know, stop everything, you know, you have to warm up the machines again and get everything ready to go and do all sorts of testing to make sure, you know, the product is conforming to our standards and stuff like that. And so, yeah, that's where it ended today. We, you know, we spent a whole bunch of time, you know, we got, like I said, we got great production today. We shut down the machine at the end of the shift and... Now the next shift is going to gonna have to start off with uh, 
bad yields because they're gonna it's gonna probably take them an hour to get that machine going again but anyway it's somebody else's problem so uh, like i said i am home now for the next four days we're gonna try and do some fun things uh hopefully this week well this weekend for me and uh i don't i'm not sure if, it, if it'll start tomorrow because it just started raining a little bit and it's supposed to rain tomorrow but it was supposed to rain all day today too so we'll kind of play it by ear and see what happens but uh, you know we're going to do some live streams and we may do a, a cooking vlog and and some fun stuff like that so definitely tune in uh, hopefully this is going to be a fun few days and uh, i think that's really all i have to share for tonight so thank you as always for watching and i will see you next time on escaping the mouse good night